the President of the United States announced the Million Solar Roofs program in 1998, most people still didn't really understand just how simple, powerful, reliable, and cost-effective it could be to produce part or all of your own electricity using ordinary sunshine, some attractive lightweight solar panels, and the surface area of your very own roof. Today, with over 1,500 Californians already working on sunshine, the technology has proven itself, and the know-how for going solar is everywhere. Deciding to go solar is easier than you think. First, you do a simple site assessment to see where the best place to put your solar panels will be. Look for an area that is not shaded during the peak hours of sunlight, from about 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. in most locations. This area does not have to be the roof, for the solar panels can be placed anywhere where they receive direct sunlight. For example, a patio cover, a pool shed, a rack or a tracker will also work very well, as will any surface that gets good sunshine. But for most people, the roof is the sunniest spot on the property, and isn't being used for much of anything else anyway. A perfect win-win. To help do your site assessment, a device such as the Solar Pathfinder can be used. It uses reflections of trees and other objects on a curved surface to simply show where shading will occur and around what time helps you choose the best location for your solar array without having to monitor the sun all day. I think to myself, what if when this house was built 11 years ago, it had building integrated roof shakes? All the time that I've lived here, most of the time my meter would have been turning backwards as opposed to turning forward. And really, I wouldn't have any concerns. Uh, my roof would be my solar system. My roof would be my power generating system.